to launch team viewer just tap the start button on your keyboard and then start typing t e a m v i e w no spaces and in your search results here you'll find it and then you click on it to host a meeting it comes up in remote control and to host a meeting you click on meeting and now you want to start the meeting so there's three different types of meetings so usually you want a presentation if you're hosting a webinar so you click presentation and you get this window that we know and love and it has a meeting ID in here so to, to invite people to this meeting you can click this green shadow of a person you can see if I hover it said invite I click on it and there's this dialog box that appears and you can click open as email and then I have an email and I can start typing in people to send the email to and they have this link and you might want to say you might want to say something like this this link will download an executable and open a web page just run the executable do not download from the web page do not update if asked when you're in the meeting you don't want this menu anymore you can close it with the X and then you have this thing that's up all the time you can close it with by pressing that arrow the other thing you can tell people is to come here to the chat and type in their message in the chat it's a good idea to just say if you have a question please type it in the chat and then everybody can see it and you can respond to it when you get to a good stopping point one thing to note each time you launch team viewer it will create a different meeting ID so there's no way around that except to use the free conference call.com but for team viewer this is why everybody in Germany when they host a webinar sends out an email 15 minutes before because if you send it out too far in advance and something happens a crash or you have to close or you accidentally close team viewer then the, the meeting ID is gone